So yesterday we looked at the ability to add and remove style sheets to and from the DOM respectively and how removing a style sheet actually removes the effect that that style sheet had on the DOM. And one of the ways that I use this a lot is to temporarily remove scrolling on the body while a modal window is open. So to demonstrate, we have a body here with a bunch of content. You can see there's some numbers here just so we can visually see that it's changing much more easily. And if I scroll down halfway through the document here and I click on this open modal window, what you'll see is that my modal opens and these scroll bars on the side of the screen have stopped. And in fact, if I try to use my scroll wheel or if I hit the up key or down key or space, shift space, you can see that the body is not scrolling at all. And that's because if we look in the head, I have injected this dynamic style sheet, which has set the overflow to be hidden on the HTML and the body elements. And in fact, if we come in here to the console and let's just go ahead and disable this temporarily. You can see that the scroll bars show up again on the body. And in fact, now I'm able to scroll the underlying body of the document. Let's go ahead and just put this back in place. You can see the scroll bars disappear. And now what we'll see is that when I close the modal, this style tag is going to disappear. Style tag is gone. Scroll bar is back. And again, I can scroll the document. So let's take a quick look at this in the code. Here I have my open modal button. And then inside of my modal, I have a close modal button. So I'm just going to wire up these two buttons, open modal and close modal. You can see I'm just binding to the open modal function and the closed modal function. Inside of the open modal function, I'm adding a CSS class to activate the modal that just visually renders it. But more importantly, what I'm doing is I'm dynamically generating a style tag. I'm setting the text content to this that hides the overflow on the body. I also set the height back to auto. You wouldn't need this in some cases, but uh, if the height is ever set explicitly on the body, this can cause some funkiness. So I just set it back to auto. I prepend it to the head and you'll notice that I have the important flags here so that those should override any existing CSS on the HTML or the body. And then when I close the modal, all I do is look in the head for the first style tag and remove it if it exists. And that way we can temporarily disable scrolling and then re-enable it with our modal. Now you might be asking, why not just apply a CSS class to the HTML? And that's a great question. In this demo, I only have a single modal. So it would make sense perhaps to just say like, class modal open, something to that effect. Now imagine, however, if I had to then open another modal or an alert on top of this modal telling me I couldn't do something. And let's say that that thing tried to add modal open as well. Well, then when I go to close it, which would presumably remove that class, I might end up removing the class for both modals, even though it needed to be open for the remaining modal. By using a style tag instead of a class, I can stack these, meaning I can, I can inject multiple style tags into the head, and then I have to remove as many style tags as I added before the scrolling is re-enabled on the body. So by using the style block, it actually makes the layout much more resilient to complex logic. So anyway, uh, I use this technique all the time. It's been super helpful and uh, hopefully you'll find it helpful as well.